You have been a public votary and you have said that AI is a good thing. It increases productivity. It will not really take away jobs. But a recent Microsoft survey also says that a huge majority of Indians actually fear for loss of jobs. That is one part of it, sir. The other point is about the whole impact on society itself uh, of, of AI, generative AI going haywire, going rogue. And that's a concern which even the, con you know, people who have actually come up with chat GPT, like Sam Altman and the others have actually talked about having guardrails or some kind of regulation. There has been a whole n number of people signing, uh, you know, asking for a halt to that. How do you see this vis-a-vis -vis the whole productivity aspect versus the impact impact on society itself? Well, you know, I have uh, said this uh, many times. As long as we use any technology in an assistive manner, and in particular AI in an assistive manner, then we will all become better and better. Now, how can we use AI in an assistive man a manner? There are so many ways. For example, you can build expert systems. You know, you can uh, improve productivity in a corporation. You can build, you can improve your own work productivity. You can help AI diagnose uh, new diseases. You can uh, uh, help AI help us in conducting complicated surgeries using robots and all that. So there are many areas, agriculture too. For example, in India, I would like to use AI in food uh, and in, you know, in agriculture first because we are short of water. So if AI can help us in uh, growing food with minimal agriculture, second, we also have floods. If we can leverage AI in managing floods and also in reducing damage to agriculture, I think our country will be very, very useful. There are many others. It's just not that. But what happens to India is that India is a follower in technology. By and large, I mean, I don't think there is any technology that we have innovated, we have invented, right? Well, almost, you may look at iPads, look at, you know, phones, look at this, whatever, lights, LEDs, solar power, you name it, all of it was invented somewhere outside. But our education system has made us capable of using those inventions to make our lives better. That's good. There is nothing wrong with that. that UPI is a good example of that. Uh, you know, the payment system, UPI, of taking it forward. and. Uh, yeah, you, uh, well, there are two things that I'm very happy in India. That is, one is, of course, uh, uh, Aadhaar, which Nandan headed. I think it's a very, very good experiment, very good, very useful thing. It has added tremendous value to the country. And the second is what's happening right now, ONDC. If ONDC succeeds, I think we will bring the, the, the power of online commerce to small shops, everybody. So I think, yes, in some way, and UPI, of course, has done a good job. But then the seeds for UPI, you know, were yes. there elsewhere too. So it's not just India, but in a different way, in a different yeah. uh, form. So I think the most important thing for us is to think of areas where we have big problems and use AI in tackling those problems. And I see that, for example, I wish somebody worked on a paper on how do we use AI to incentivize people to, couples to reduce the population. Because that's a huge problem in our country. We all know we have already, I mean, according to World Bank, we have exceeded China, right? So we have to reduce our population, otherwise... 
all the good things that are happening today may be reduced considerably. So use AI in population reduction, use AI in improving agricultural productivity, use AI in uh, making sure that our water resources uh, can be utilized better, uh, use AI in reducing pollution in the air, etc. So there are many, many problems which are unique to us. And if we used these technologies to solve those problems, I believe we will be a better country. I don't think, you know, we need to use it in autonomous cars. I don't think we need autonomous cars in India. Anyway, they may not work. But I, I think just because it is used in San Francisco today, we say, no, we'll bring autonomous cars here, that, that cannot be our priority. You know, maybe some people may want to use it. That's up to them. But I would focus AI on improving public governance, reducing corruption, in, in improving water availability, in improving agricultural productivity, etc., etc.